Hello, in this video we're looking at Clio, or Ky Kylo, uh, if you want to pronounce it. It's an online discussion tool. So first off we're going to have a look at some of the existing ones. So when you go to Clio, you can see there's a, an explore option, a tour option, and a career option. And so at the top it has some of the featured ones, so let's just dive into one of those. So it's got a title at the top we can see how many posts have been made, number of contributors, number of votes, how many participants, and the total number of views. And you can see that displayed in that graph there. And you can see who the contributors are. If we click Enter, we've got first thesis and then we've got various other elements different uh, questions or or points of discussion added along the side so you can see these are all the for and these are all of the against so you've got the pros and the cons and you can by clicking on the different box you can go to the specific bit and see what people have said about it so for example in this one I can see there's been five comments made and I click on the comments and I can see who's said what. And I can just close that to get rid of it. We go back to the top. Again, I can see pros down one side and cons down the other, and the comments that have come from that. So some of the statements made have got more comments than others. But it's really nice visually laid out. If I click onto the dots beside it, I can thank the author by clicking on the plus. I can look at the voting stats. It says 24 people say some of the statements are false, improbable, plausible, and you see, well, you see the rest there. So it's really nicely laid out, really great way to have a discussion online and to capture all of the different elements of a discussion. So let's go and log in. Having logged in, we can create our own discussion and you just click create. First off, you need to determine whether it's a private or a public one. So the ones we were looking at were public, but we're going to create a private one which will invite specific people to. If it's public, as it says, everybody can find and view your discussion and they'll be able to create and contribute to it. So we're going to go private and click next. Single or multiple thesis. Multiple thesis means there's a number of different questions that are being asked and different theses in, in response. Theses are in essence, I think, responses to those discussions. So you can see there, if we look at the single thesis example, it's just making a statement, the earth is round, and then you can see people specifying pros or cons against it. If there's multiple theses, you're giving them an opportunity to vote and, and to respond to the different responses. So in this case, we've got three possible ideas to what so it depends on the type of discussion you want to have I'm going to go with a single thesis and click next you can enter details so I was going to put James and demo I could put in some additional information I could add a link so this could be to an article or something that's relevant so for the purposes of this demo I'm just going to add my blog which I can paste in there I can set my language I could add some tags and then I could hit next I could upload an image you can see up to 16 megabytes in JPEG or PNG format, and then I can click complete. It will ask me to invite people. I'm not going to do that now, but I could do that via email. And then we have the basic layout there. So topic at the top, and then pros and cons. So there you have it. To share, I just click invite. I could also embed that discussion. So for example, if I'm using a school or college VLE or a school or college website, 
I could embed that discussion so that my students could access it. They still have to sign in. Got things to, other things to be aware of at the top. We've got a discussion chat in relation to the specific discussion that you've got. Uh, any claims that have been marked for review. So if I'd made a uh, contributed to a discussion and someone had marked mine for review, I'd see that. And notifications, um, just saying whether there's been any changes or any other things have happened in relation to your discussion. We get on the three dots, that brings up a menu and allows us to look at info and stats and discussion settings. So let's go back to the home page. So there you have it. A really simple and easy way to create an online discussion really nicely featured I like the fact that you can have multiple threads to that discussion and it provides a really nice visual look and feel as shown at the start when we're looking at one of the public discussions so there you have it my Clio interesting website great for discussions if you liked it please share the video subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos thanks for watching